Hmm. So if I want to connect my garage door opener to the internet, to $95 on Amazon or $70 on LiftMaster website. And I think there's a better and cheaper way to do this. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so let me explain to y'all what we're gonna be doing and how it works when you understand so you know what 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 it looks like. Similar to how this panel here has this switch, okay? This is another switch um, that has a Wi-Fi chip in it. It will send the signal to the garage door opener um, for it to open and close. So that is the concept. I'll explain a little bit more how this board works right now. Hey guys, so let me explain to you a little bit on uh, this board that we're gonna be using for this modification. This board I bought off of eBay for $6. This is one that I bought off of Amazon for $12. They work identic identically the same. Um, they take a 12 volt micro USB uh, charger cable right there. You can see it's connected to this one already because this one's ready to go. They both have these two buttons. One of them is to sync and one is them one of them is to trigger on off um, or rather relay. It has a Wi-Fi chip right here built in and it has these three ports that we're going to be using uh, to send the signal to open up the garage door opener. Okay so as you can see here on this one again this one's ready to go uh, the cables already connected it uh, to it and the way that um, you need to connect it is either to this remote um, control right here or to this one uh, the person who sold me the house left all these remotes remote controls for me uh, they all work the same other thing that you could do is connect it to the panel here now because my garage door opener uses uh, security plus 2.0 it's a pain in the neck to find the pins to connect those wires to so instead of trying to find the pins on the panel on the door I decided to hotwire it to this garage door opener and I'll show you what I did right now in a minute all right guys so as you can see this relay is ready to go so I'm gonna connect this disconnect it um, and open this up for you to see now what you want to do is you want to identify what pins um, make contact when you press this button here so I determined that these two pins on the bottom um, make contact with this uh, remote fob, right? So I soldered this on, but you could use JB Weld, you could use hot glue, uh, I believe you can even make uh, use super glue. The idea is you just want to make sure that whatever you use, it makes contact with the pins that are required. Now this was done through trial and error. Um, so be patient with it. Um, don't use something permanent that you won't be able to take off the wires. Uh, it's again trial and error that you have to do. I notched this out here at the end so that when I put it together it could sit nice and as clean as possible. Okay. And I'm gonna par power this up right now. A few moments later. Study light means it's ready to go. And what I have to do is, once I press this button right here, this is gonna turn on and the garage door is gonna open up. I press it again and the garage door is gonna stop. All right, 
So there you have it. That is the hardest part of this install, which is finding the pins to connect uh, to the fob here. Um, now it's just registering this to the app and I'll show you how to do that right now. So you can see that the relay is in the fast blinking mode and we have the eWink app here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, press the plus sign at the bottom, go to quick pairing. That's my Wi-Fi cred credentials there. And we're gonna attempt to pair it up to this device. There it found the device, it's regis registering it. And it's gonna take us to the next screen. So we can name the device. Gonna name it, uh, let's call it Garage. Okay. Hit complete. And that's it. So now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button here and the garage door opener should open. We're gonna see the lights on there blink. Let's do it. Let's do it again. More moments later. Alexa, turn on garage. Alexa, turn on garage. So, I'm really stoked that this worked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all in all, I think it's an easy mod for anyone that has an old garage door opener or someone that doesn't want to, like me, spend close to $100 on buying a an adapter and probably I've read somewhere where it's a, there's a monthly fee with those uh, connectors. Um, if I buy something, I don't wanna have to pay a monthly fee to use it. This is, there's no fee associated with it besides buying the part and connecting the wires to the pin and that's it. If you could add a adapter to um, to Alexa and to your smart home hub, you'll be able to do this. Again, you could use either a solder, you could use hot glue, you could use super glue to connect the wires to the pins on the, the remote fob. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys, peace.